Turkish, wow, what a, what a game. Incident pack game. 2 0 up. VAR. You know what? The Xhaka thing. There's too much to talk about with this game. First of all, let me talk about the performance. We're 2 0 up. Yeah, Rob. Come on, man. Well, that was the best start of one, to one of our games for how long in the Premier League? For how long? 2 0 up. We didn't create too much, but then when Doozy nice ball over the top for Oba, Laka had a chance, um, bottom corner, good save. Mm. We created good four good chances in the first half an hour. Mm. Yes, it's not the best, but it's an improvement. Yeah. And then the penalty comes and it's like, that was it. The performance was done. Half an hour of decent work. I liked how we set we set up. It was like a four. I mean, we, it was it was a nice team. Yeah. Everybody was happy with the with the. And he changed the, the formation. It was a four four two. Sabios on the left, Pepe on the right. Dead cut in, and Tierney and Chambers. Were, it was working for half an hour. And the penalty. We haven't got the mental strength to be to deal with these sort of incidents mm. during the game. Our game management is so poor. It's, we're so soft centered. That hasn't changed since the Wenger era. Mm. It's like these little moments come and the heads go down. We haven't got that leader. We haven't got that guy that's going to galvanise the whole squad. Mm. And on the subject of the leader... What did you make of it? What did you make of it? You know, um, the fans obviously really unhappy. Xhaka reacting. Who's at fault here? Is it the fans or Xhaka? Look, Rob, obviously I've heard, I've heard your side of things and I can understand criticising the fans to an extent. But it's not about this game. It's about consistently average and below average performances from Xhaka. And it's about consistent interviews where he's talking the talk, but failing to walk... He's not the, the only talk. one, though, is he? He's, a, but look he's at been his consistently today. poor. Look at his reaction today. That's frustration. Eh, eh, that's a baby. He wanted to talk about Evra's comments about baby and this and that. Fuck Evra, by the way. The guy wants to lick and kiss chickens to stay relevant after football. He's a wally. But Xhaka wants to talk about babies. He moved like a baby coming off that pitch. I don't blame the fans because the fans have to project how they feel about each individual player. The same way we'll cheer Oba, the same way we'll cheer Laka or we'll cheer Saka. We will boo certain players because we need Why to get that do we boo? What, what, how's that going to How's that going to lift a player? How's that going to inspire a player with booing? And ironic cheers and stuff like that. How's that going to, how's that going to help even the other players on the pitch? Right, Torreira, Torreira when it was, when all the fans were having a go, at uh, um, Xhaka turned around to the fans and was going like this, what's the matter with you lot? That's one of his teammates. Remember, this is the guy that all of the team voted to become captain. No, that's what we've been told, Rob. That's, that's the facts, no, right? Fact. And, and, and we... Um, we've been told that. Xhaka was already the captain for Emery before Holden came out and leaked. Do you think Holden wasn't told to come out and tell us that we're voting for captain? Do you of think the players are not upset? by what has gone on today with Jack, the way Jack has been treated by the fans. Don't you think they've upset the players? At, at this moment in time, I don't care how the players think. The players should care how we think because it's been years and years and years of frustration for Arsenal fans. And at key moments now, look, Last time Jacko got booed coming off was the game before he got made captain. So we've booed him off, or whoever's booed him off has booed him off. Emery's gone and made that man captain. So this is on Emery first and foremost. But Jacko comes out and talks about, well, we make silly little mistakes. We need to strengthen up. Oh, we need to be mentally stronger. I don't... Every captain says that, yeah, Turkish. But he says it, but every captain doesn't perform week in, week out with average or below average performances. He never has an above average performance, but he's always in the starting 11. And fans have had enough of that, Rob. Every match, we know that Jack is starting, but every match would like a quicker transition, would like, a, would like a better combination in the middle because this hasn't been working. So don't think the boos are just for this game. The boos are for the last two and a half years. So scapegoating him then. It's not a scapegoat. So it doesn't matter, is it right? Why is it, it doesn't matter what he does. No, no, right, we're scapegoating no, 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 because if he improves, if he can improve, because... How's he going to improve if people are booing him and, and on his case all the time? Right. So what, some people don't react well to criticism? Some people react better to criticism them positivity, right? I'm, I'm sure he can react to criticism, but how's he going to react as captain when people are booing him? Ironic cheers, get off, you, you're right, and, you, and, and you're saying to me that's because of previous games. Yes, it's because of what about it's because of not not pre, not just previous games, it's, it's his whole career at Arsenal Football Club, Rob. And he's still getting picked in, week, and not only is he getting picked in week in, week out, he is now the captain. You tell me as fans, how do we project to Emery that we are not happy with this choice? Because we can only do it on a match day. I'm surprised because Mo is right. I haven't heard that since Abue. But I'm, am I happy? Yes, because he deserves it in my opinion. He deserves it. And you know what? His reaction, 
Yeah. His reaction was wrong. For me. His he reaction was easy for me. His reaction was wrong. But you know what? I understand it. Because to me, I, I think this is the second time it's unfair. Right? It's unfair. Come on, come on here after the game and have a go at him. Go down the pub after the game, have a go at him. On the way out, have a go at him. Whilst the game is going on. And, and it's still a long, it's still a long time. It's still a long time left in the game. Come on. But we do do that. We do go home and moan about Jack. Yeah, no, I'm saying, Twitter, do you know that's what I mean? the time to but do it. Emery doesn't seem to listen. So maybe now, because he will be asked about Granite Xhaka now, Unai Emery. So maybe now we'll get some answers. Maybe now we'll start putting the pressure on Emery to actually fix this issue. Because it's not just Granite Xhaka either. First, first time this season, I actually applauded Xhaka a couple of times in that first half because he transitioned the ball very well. He didn't have a bad game. To me, that was probably his best game so far this season, and it was average. But his reaction just, just epitomised my opinion of him throughout his Arsenal tenure, do you know what I mean? He is the captain now, he is the leader. He needs to be mentally stronger than to throw off your shirt on the floor and cup your ear to the fans. He can't be Arsenal captain no more, Rob. 